Hello and welcome to cookingflavors.com. For today's recipe, we look at the preparation of soya putta or meal maker putta or vegetarian sira putta. This recipe was taught to me by a very close family friend, Jay Auntie. She is no longer with us. I dedicate this recipe to her. We miss you, Auntie. Here are the list of ingredients needed for this. Now, for those of you who don't know what soya nuggets are, I'm sure every one of you will know, but this is how it will look like. It will be hard initially when it's raw. Now, I've soaked it in just a little bit of warm water. And as soon as you soak, within 5 minutes, it will start to plump up and it will become nice and soft. I've taken about 200 grams of uh, soya nuggets today. Now, you, they come in different sizes. Uh, so, I've taken the smaller variety. And uh, after 5 to 10 minutes, I'm squeezing out the water entirely. Now, I've taken the entire soya nuggets in a mix jar and I'll be using the whip button or the pulse button or the very low speed button initially and I'll, I like to grind it into uh, shreds like this. It'll become nice and shreddy like this. Don't make it into fine shreds, just a little bit of uh, shreds will do and keep this aside. Now in a kadai, I've taken about uh, two tablespoons of oil and once the oil is hot, I'll be adding in a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Once the fennel seeds are splutter, I'm adding in a few curry leaves, a few coriander leaves, some cloves of garlic and ginger and a few green chilies. Green chilies are the only source of spice here so adjust this according to your taste and flavor and spice level. Now we'll saute that a little. After that I'm adding in just about a one chopped uh, onion. Now the more the onions the better it will taste. So adjust onions according to the amount of uh, soya nuggets you have. We'll saute that a little. Once the onions become nice and translucent I'm adding in just a pinch of turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is totally optional. You can even avoid it. We'll uh, mix that all well and once that is done I'm adding in these uh, shredded soya nuggets into the kadai. We'll give that a good toss till the onions and all the other ingredients mix well with these uh, soya nugget shreds. We'll add in the required amount of salt, add little, check and then add more if required. We'll combine that all together. And then we'll have to cover it with a lid and allow it to cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. It'll cook in no time. After about 7 minutes, if you taste it in your mouth, you would, you would feel that the soya nuggets is completely cooked. And the raw flavor of it is uh, totally gone. Now we'll give that one uh, mix again. I'm adding in just about a tablespoon of oil because it's become a little dry. This recipe will taste good with a little more oil. Now finally, just before switching off the stove, I have some roasted fennel, uh, cinnamon and black pepper powder. I've roasted just a few of them and I've uh, ground it into a nice powder. I'm just sprinkling just about a quarter teaspoon, not more than that, to give it that nice finishing touch and flavor to this recipe. As soon as you uh, add this powder, garnish it with a, with a little coriander leaves. Give it one last mix and stir and switch off the stove. That should take just about two minutes to retain the fresh flavor of this roasted uh, fennel, cinnamon and pepper powder. A tasty and easy to make soya nuggets putta or meal maker putta or vegetarian sura putta is ready to be served. As with any uh, sura putta, this will taste best with sambar sadam and rasam sadam. It also goes very well with Tayar Sadam. Hope you enjoyed this video recipe today. Do try it out and give us your feedback. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and post in your comments and suggestions. Hit the like button and keep encouraging us. You can also visit us at cookingflavors.com and follow us on Google+. Till we see you again with another new and interesting recipe. Thank you and happy cooking.